Hey guys, welcome back. It's Green Reaper coming at you for another video of Race Shadows. Hopefully, you're doing well and hopefully, you're looking after yourselves and hopefully, you had a great weekend. The portal is red, not the shard portal, but the altar portal. Um, I'm actually not going to be opening any. I've already opened 20 today and I got 151 points. I got two legendaries. I got uh, two, two, two star blessings. Uh, which was enough to give me what I like to get, which is the 150 gems and 300 energy. I stopped there. I'm saving. I'm holding because I'm waiting for the event. Uh, see if, uh, if there's any type of like deck of fates or any type of blessings in uh, tied in with the uh, four fusion or anything like that. I don't want to get painted. I don't want to be spending any money. So I'm saving all these and these uh, for that. Maybe see what happens with that overall. Um, it will be interesting. I know there's rumors, stuff like that. But rumors are rumors. I know there's stuff in game news, but it's not clearly in the writing. Playroom's writing and stuff like that. It's always a bit funny. Anyway, let's get into today's video. I haven't done this yet. I don't normally make videos. Uh, like this, but I did want to comment on, on some of the, the mythicals that are being rebalanced, which got mentioned next week. So I'll make it short and sweet. I don't want to make it too too long as a video, but um, yeah, uh, hopefully this will help you. So let's talk about raids. So this is the highlight. This is probably will come in the next patch, which will probably be the end of September, maybe, or anything like that. So it says in 2.2. 9.2 is going live. By the way, if, if I read anything wrong, forgive me, I'm dyslexic. It just comes with the territory. Uh, it's time to share our traditional update hi highlights and we'll give you an early glimpse of the changes we have planned. The profile players, players are getting a major overhaul and we'll display all sorts of badges and will receive uh, achievements in raids. Now, they have something like this in Clash of Clans. And when you hit achievement, normally you get like some type of gems or some type of currency in the game, which would be cool, right? Hopefully, they do some type of reward with this uh, instead of just giving you a badge. Um, so, and I'm going to comment on, I will make another comment on this in a second as well. But overall, you can see that the badges there are looking quite interesting you obviously you have arena dungeons artifacts and champions so kind of cool i guess but uh i do want to kind of make some uh points on this in a second so it says here even uh, if you complete all the previous uh champ uh champion uh sorry, challenges this will no longer take a uh, blah blah and will it'll be a fancy new player profile um and you will see it in 2000 in 2.9 just at the beginning too there will be extending this as well now i said they're extending a lot of things like live arena and stuff like that and never have or it'll come in two years or three years so one of them ones i think this has also got something to maybe come in with something to do with like uh the chat as well in game which would be interesting to see so you can see here you've got Demon Spawn, C vs C, and Hydra personal best scores. Hopefully they get this accurate. And not like the videos are made for the anniversary, which wasn't accurate. So I will be checking that as well. Uh, obviously, the total player power and stuff like that is kind of broken anyway, because mine's account says like what 26 million. Uh when you do all the maths in the background, it comes out at like 19.2 for my account. So that is also another interesting factor to take into consideration anyway let's get kind of into this uh, and it will tell you you can set your strongest uh favorite champions and stuff like that it's it's cool everyone will be built bored with this probably within two days uh once it is uh when is it's passed right so it's an interesting one so you'll be able to select your favorite champions and you're like yeah clan boss scores clan boss is kind of dead uh, made adjustments as well uh, to the auto uh, battle in AI uh, for Hydra heads. The champions are now uh, 
prioritize the devoured ones of their allies which is super good uh that will be really really big for arena so uh, sorry for hydra you ain't gonna be clicking as much and stuff like that as well the in-game ui will be optimized as well which will be a great conversation for champions and stuff like that so i don't know what they've changed here too much i don't, I don't know what they changed except for i must see mistakes this is definitely not a that is definitely not a speed set that looks like protection unless i don't know anything about the game that is protection we got protection at the top and at the hey ho it's, it's one of their ones i'm happy we don't see this it's also resource dry as well right a lot of resources i don't like this i'm not gonna lie uh they just need to like there's a search tool that i don't see why you need to put this there maybe make it as an option i know with clash of clans you can minimize it and you can extend it i don't know why that's really needed it's kind of a waste of time there's definitely like a search tool that could be added when you're building like hydro teams for example when you i don't know if you guys notice when you're building hydro teams in your presets you always have to go through your champions one by one you can't search them right but you can search them in arena or curse city or anything like that definitely would be a small update to add there's also something else as well, which is quite annoying. Uh, last time I checked as well, Marta was a, I don't know if you guys can see that, Marta is a spirit champion, but she's a void there. And she has a speed aura. That's definitely Marta. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Okay. And Cardio is Force Affinity. The way these screenshots come from, Lissandra is a void. Oh, God. <laughs> um let's hopefully they don't induce all that into the game anyway let's get into the juicy stuff i want to talk about the, the reworks and uh the rebalances needed to the mythicals so uh we do have mesmal's buff here which is pretty strong already um so i've used mesmal a little bit on everyone peaks account she's definitely there is a selection of fights where she's quite strong but again, she doesn't hit hard enough, which is one of the problems with some multipliers. So she's going to get a simple uh, damage increase on A1, uh, the A2 on the first form, and then the A1 and A2 on the second form. Now, personally, I don't feel like she needed it for a second form, but GG, extra damage is always nice. She does ignore block, buff, uh, block damage, and it'll help her to be more challenging and better uh, nukas in live arena. If you are unlucky to pull her, this potentially now makes her the best spirit nuka when it comes to mythicals, right? Uh, it's super strong. So anyway, um, and then all they've done is to add it a we ignore a 50% target defense as well as stone skin, etc. Uh, that would be a one per hit, which would be pretty nice. Um, and then she gets a damage increase on that as well. I feel like this will now make her very viable for Lyrena. you'll see her way way more which is great news right this is what we want so i think for me she's definitely probably the best spirit nuka right now uh other than i don't even think the orc is better than her now because like the block revive is so powerful and ignoring stone skin which is meta is more appealing to me especially if you ban one of the nukas um that would be more appealing but obviously if they get armad's pick then you have to ban armad's 90% of the time which is another down factor and is, should be seeing a nerf to him or a counter to him uh to really put him on his bum anyway the dwarf it wasn't awful i did a champion showcase on this i didn't really enjoy it if i'm honest uh compared to other mythicals it's always nice taking new champions out but compared to other mythicals it wasn't as fun He's just getting a straight up damage uh, increase, which is super good and super strong. Um, this will think will now will definitely make him very meta, very viable, especially against Sigfoot and champions like that, where he can steal the block damage. He would always put Sigfoot on his bomb anyway, but the stone skin kind of uh, draws him back a little bit in within the meta. And hopefully uh, he will see him hit now. Is it enough? I'm not too sure with him. I think out of the three buffs, um, I don't feel that it might not be enough. I think maybe an AoE on an A2 would have been quite nice to see uh, with a double hitter and just being able to maybe, like a Foley ability, take the buffs and then do a hit or something like that. 
uh, and then do an AoE hit after that. So that will be interesting. Now, I do have Hive Lord on my account. I'm really looking forward to this buff, right? So he's getting a damage increase as well on all his abilities. Uh, so on his first form, and then they're kind of reworking the second form. Honestly, the second form is more Hydra, and I will do a champion showcase with him again in Hydra. Uh, I will have a video on him already, so we can look at before and after. We can use the same gear and to see what really changed on his kit. I'm really looking forward to seeing the first form because honestly, ignoring 25% target defense is huge. That's without a debuff. Now, if they're under a HE burn, so if you have Gizmak, for example, uh, before him, I do feel like he's very viable. Gizmak, obviously, at the start of turn, puts a HE burn out, uh, and I think then this would be an extremely high hard hitting ability with 50% ignore defense. He also brings a increased attack on that ability, if I'm not mistaken, which we can take a look in a second. So bringing his own increased attack, that's super nice. I think it's on all allies, if I remember correctly. Uh, he, was, he will put out his own HP burn instead. So maybe you can go 6p stone skin. Could be an option. 4p uh, stone skin, I think that wouldn't be enough because probably be on his arse or be dead after that. Which will be very interesting. Uh, yes, it says that increase attack on all allies for two turns. For Hydra, this is really juicy because he doesn't hit as hard as other mythicals. That's why I dropped him in my team. Uh, Mishi, for example, just replace him. Brings more utility. Just way more damage. Even a Provoke set brings up Provoke, which that means that he didn't get into my Hydra team. I uh, should be picking legendaries over mythicals. That is one thing that I would like to point out um so yeah second form wasn't so bad it's super good probably in arena where you can flip forms and then cc them that could be an option if you get locked out and then flip forms and then just do straight up nuke uh which could be better because you might have time to put h burns out uh but yeah this is the one i'm looking forward to the most because i feel like mesomal will become a quiet meta champion i'm still not too sure if he will be meta champion but i feel like if you've got a gizmak for sure he could potentially come meta champion uh this will be an interesting one this will be the one to watch out of the three and this is the one i'm looking forward to personally the, the most so uh, hopefully we will see some good use there uh that's it from me today uh we will have some more videos dropping tomorrow and no more videos today i wanted to just kind of drop my personal thoughts on these because of you guys kind of see me do a lot of live arena i do enjoy live arena and i'm really hoping i get another mythical that comes into my arena teams to give me something different uh but that is a question to ask uh for a different day maybe with a hate burn and resistible could be quite good so you don't need accuracy on him that could be an option as well anyway that's it from me hopefully you enjoyed this please remember to like comment and subscribe i've been grim i'll see you on the next one peace